How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. And today we're getting a good stalled start on the heat treat oven. Here's what we're starting with right here. This is an autoclave. Uh, I've stripped everything away from it. Uh, and I put back on the sheet metal sides in the back. We have, still have the door and the hinge mechanism and all that stuff. Uh, we may be changing some of the uh, well, the way the door works, um, I haven't decided yet. Uh, once I get the bricks inside and some more of this stuff uh, finished, then I'll decide what I'm going to do about the hinge, hinging and how the door will work. But right now, what we're going to do is show you a couple things. We're I got a nice uh, piece of aluminum here that my son uh, made up for me. That's going to sit on top of here. So we're going to show you how I'm going to match the holes on that uh, tool you might not have ever seen. Uh, we have uh, six holes that are already there. And we're going to match those and mount this. So let me show you the tool I'm going to use to match the holes out here on top. Uh, and transfer them. So here's what we're going to use here. Top. These are uh, used quite a bit in the aircraft. Uh, and when you have to make uh, match holes um, or find a hole that's deep inside especially with sheet metal now these are long ones they make these in six inch and this is a they call it 13 it's really about 12 and a half inches and we'll do a close-up on it but uh, they're called hole finders and they work really really well there's uh, basically two styles uh, i only i have four to five five sizes of them uh, of the one style I don't have the any of the inverted ones. Here you go. There's a boss here with a hole through it, all the way through it, this boss. And down here we have a little uh, depression in this piece and then a pin on this side. Now the this one here is uh, for a size 10 screw, 3 16 So this here will fit right in that hole in, into a you know, 3 sixteenths hole. And then over over here, this is a number 10 drill. Now, they're, they're also marked on the tail end, uh, what size drill you use. Number This is it's stamped with a number 10. That's about it. Now, the inverted one, the pin is on the top side. It's a little bit different than, the, than these. But these are the most common ones you'll use right here. Pretty simple. Now, these are hardened also. First off, what we're going to do is that pin on here will go in the where the screw uh, attaches. Now these have uh, um, uh, like a spring clip type of attachment um, on here that snaps in. Anyway, so that goes right in the hole. And then our sheet metal is going to go between here. And we'll be able to just come in with a drill and mark where we're going to drill our hole. You could also drill the, all the way through if you want. So we're going to set our sheet metal up where we want it. It's going to sit right there, right? But and we'll put this in. Find where we're going to drill it, right? So it's locked in the hole. Align our sheet metal. Now we'll deburr that back side, but then we'll put a screw in. Be able to screw that right on down. Nice and tight. Then what we'll do is we'll finish uh, getting things aligned. Well, we're good there. We'll come to the other side. Stick it in there and do the other, get another one on the other side. Now 
And that's how I just drilled it off. Too. There we go. And we'll do the rest. There we go. Quick, easy job when you use the right tools. Next we'll be going on to the bricks. This is the fire brick I'm using for the heat treat oven. Now I've traced out my pattern. There, there, and then right here. And this is not this is not the, the real hard type fire brick. This is the softer stuff, but um, that this is what normally is used, uh, you know, in heat treat ovens or in, in boilers. We, I've used this stuff for years. Easiest way to shape it, to shape it, I found, and most people, it's a hand saw. And the stuff just saws, and then we're going to use a rasp. So hand saw. We're just going to hand saw off the bulk of it, and you'll see how easy this is. How boilers makers guys we'd hire to do it that's how they did it and <laughs> it's it's really really easy now I prefer a, a nice horseshoe rasp um, what is that nine these are like uh, almost 15 inches long inch and a half wide very coarse and what you consider fine for horseshoeing <laughs> uh, Horseshoe rasp is just great. It eats up this stuff just like it's almost like nothing. And this is a dull rasp. Uh, my father-in-law used to be a used to shoe horses and taught me how to shoe horses. And well, but we had a few horseshoe rasps laying around. And we got our pattern lines to follow any good coarse rasp but this, is, this is nice and wide just these rasp is one reason these work really well There, just a few minutes, we got a nice shaped brick. We'll go try it in the oven. <laughs> 